Hi everyone, I'm Donovan, Head Director of Training and Breeding at Canine Control. Just go get the dog. Thank you for joining us today. According to a New York Times article written by John Tierney, published June 11, 2011, what was the most ever paid for an executive protection dog? A, $75,000, B, $150,000, C, $300,000, or D, more than $400,000? Stay tuned in. Hi, everybody. This is Donovan, and welcome back to Canine Control TV. We're down here at Bruce D. Giovanni's Construction Yard where we conduct our informal Sunday training, invite only. It's kind of an informal, friendly environment, just a few guys that I personally like that we get together and train dogs on a hobby level on Sunday afternoon for fun. And we do mostly protection sport training or practical personal protection training here. So I hope you guys enjoy the show. A bunch of really funny characters and some cool stuff to watch. Thanks for being here. I have a homemade hidden sleeve designed by my friend Adi Bravo. This is unbelievable. Patrick, come here. Bring that sleeve to me. I'd like to show you quickly how this sleeve was designed. Not to let out, not to let out all the secrets. Okay, but this sleeve is made out of less than ten dollars in material, and it has a—it's very, very stiff, but it has a very, very low profile. And we're running a test on it. We did try it out once before, but the thing's hard as a rock, right? It's great protection. It's very light, and it's a really good—it's a really good idea. So I hope you guys like this. What we're gonna do is it's gonna be a carjack prevention exercise where I'm gonna stick my arm through the window and attempt to assault the handler inside the car. After a, f a brief struggle, the handler's gonna out tell the dog to release me. I'm gonna back away from the car, but I'm gonna continue a verbal assault on him, at which time he's gonna command the dog to jump out the window and attack me. Okay, so watch that. Hey, you! What's up? Get that fucking money, you owe me a lot! This is I'm Jerry, and uh, normally I'm in an office every day. I've been training the puppy there too. Uh, but uh, I have my girlfriend also that's in a uh, in her home office and goes out from time to time, so she needs the dog to be with her, so she's able to go out walking with the dog, and there's no problem. Whenever I leave here and I do this type of work, I go out to Port Jefferson and I walk the dog amongst people, and then I just redirect the dog's attention. Uh, by doing some obedience, keeping them in a foos command. And this is what I do in between. I do this protection training. So he starts getting clear where he's not having, uh, he's having uh, nice people around him when we go for walks. So it's not always like this. And he's outside doing other things. Oh. Hey, hey, fuck you! If you do it again, I'll kill you! Hey, Yeah, I got into the dog, started out after uh, 
situation with my girlfriend had a car there was a car jacking and then uh, she had a second incident that was a very violent attack then there was a second attack where on her it was a passive attack nobody was screaming yelling and then she ended up getting tied up and then finally getting let go uh, you know in an office amongst other people so uh, she needs to have a dog that's gonna be you know be there for her she feels comfortable with it and this is what she needs and so now with my new dog she per this dog is perfect for her so it cuddles with her and it's able to do this clear-headed and able to hang out with her no problem That's why I got into the dogs and protection dog training is for that specific purpose. We're gonna check out a 13 month old Guerrero American band dog. This is his first time, his first day ever in protection testing. 13 months old male Guerrero American band dog Capone from No Papers Kennel. Ready Dennis, tell him to watch. Hey. Some of us here are training dogs for various to compete in various protection dog sports. Some of these sports have been highlighted in previous episodes, like Schutzen or IPO, PSA, Mondio Ring, French Ring Sport, KMPV, and there are plenty of others actually. There are some also some other American made sports. Uh, some of us are training the dogs, custom training the dogs to do personal protection and bodyguard work based on previous bad experiences with personal assault, robbery, uh, attempted rape, etc. Uh, victims of violent crimes. So just check it out. I hope you're enjoying what you're watching. Keep an open mind. Now we're about to show 10 week old Donovan Pincher, Tiger 2. We're getting him ready for a police dog test, the Royal Dutch police dog test known as the KMTV. And one of those parts of those tests, one of the parts of that test is called a large article search, where the dog has to guard a box or a suitcase or something that it finds in the woods. So right now we're preparing the puppy as a young age. Here is the box right there. And we begin by teaching the dog that stimulation, and we're gonna in instigate the dog to guard the box and reward him by get letting him bite when he's standing on the box. Oh! <laughs> 
He's three months old. Imagine what he's gonna be like in a year. Fireballs like why you went bison like into our slice him and dice him. I beat more charges than Roy Jones Jr. won fights. I hit like a monsoon, think like a business crime tune. Anger in me is like Doom 3, the scariest game you've ever played. I spit raps like fire, have girls coming in high notes like Mariah. I'm conceivable, believable, getting paid in full from all my lawsuits and business ventures. I've done a couple of things I'd rather not mention right now. <laughs> and it's my time, it's my time to shine. It's my time. It's my time to shine, it's my time, it's my time to shine, it's my time, it's my time to shine. For those of you who chose D, more than $400,000, you were right. Hey, thanks a lot for being here for one more episode of K9 Control TV. I really hope you enjoyed yourself, I hope you learned something, and I hope you come back next week. Oh, I'll just put a dog on your ass. <laughs> Hi everybody, and thanks for watching Canine Control TV. I'd also like to say a word here about animal rescue. I'd like to thank the countless animal shelters, humane societies, and private citizens who have fostered and helped to adopt out the millions of animals that remain in our shelters today that have no permanent homes. And I'd like to take this moment also to encourage you to please consider adoption as an option for your new pet. And don't forget to subscribe to our show at youtube.com slash canine control TV show. Also, you can check us out at our website, caninecontroltv.com, or look us up on Facebook, Canine Control TV. Thanks a lot again for watching, and don't forget to adopt. Not my show! Productions.